and true antiphon. Set me free from my distress, O Lord. See my lowliness and suffering, and take away all my sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us take a moment to call to mind our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, we pray, may be so conformed to the past observances. Let the bodily discipline now solemnly begun may bear fruit in the souls of all, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, if the wicked man turns away from all the sins he committed, if he keeps my statutes and does what is right and just, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the crimes he committed shall be remembered against him. He shall live because of the virtue he has practiced. Do I indeed derive any pleasure from the death of the wicked, says the Lord God? Do I not rather rejoice when he turns from his evil way that he may live? And if the virtuous man turns from the path of virtue to do evil, the same kind of abominable thing that the wicked man does, can he do this and still live? None of his virtuous deeds shall be remembered, because he has broken faith and committed sin. Because of this, he shall die. You say, the Lord's way is not fair? Hear now, house of Israel. It is my way that is unfair, or rather, or not, your ways unfair. When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if the wicked, turning from the wickedness he has committed, does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins that he committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. The word of the Lord. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord. More than sentinels waits for the dawn. Let Israel 
wait for the Lord. If you, O oh Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. If you, O oh Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Rakwa, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning we hear in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus say to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. What is Jesus referring to when he says that our righteousness must be greater than the scribes and Pharisees? And it says, the Lord saying that the scribes and Pharisees followed the law of Moses. They followed that Ten Commandments and the other prescriptions given by Moses in the Pentateuch. They followed that outward law of observance. But they did not follow the inner law of love. And that's the difference in the new covenant that Christ inaugurates. He inaugurates a covenant of love and mercy that is greater than the old covenant of judgment. And so the invitation that Jesus gives us in our readings today is one of merciful love. In the sense that the commandments um, without love are hollow and empty. But yet to live out the teachings of the church and the teachings of Christ with love is to truly be a new covenant people. Gathering together the hopes and needs of our community, we bring these prayers before God. For all priests and religious, that the graces they receive in the sacraments continue to help them live out their vocations. We pray to the Lord. 
For those who suffer, may God heal them in mind and body. We pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. And silence us off for our own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Father of mercy, we pray that you look favorably upon these intentions through Christ our Lord. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrificial offerings of the Lord, by which in your power and kindness you willed us to be reconciled to yourself and our salvation to be restored. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things they eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
He took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks they have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Shelton Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, with St. Saint Genevieve, who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co heirs eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command formed by the divine teaching, he dares to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless the Lord's call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For our online listeners, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. 
so I can at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the holy refreshment of your sacrament restore us anew, O Lord, and cleansing us of old ways, take us up into the mystery of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Look with favor on your people, O Lord, that with their observance outwardly declares and may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, bless the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, angel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, and never was in whom anyone fled to thy protection, and for thy help sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, for thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother, the word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy be an answer me. Amen. Once again, thank you all for joining us for daily morning mass during the season of Lent. It feels like a Sunday in here. We have such a great crowd, so it's a beautiful delight to my priestly heart. And uh, for those who would like to remain, we'll pray the way of the cross. I'll begin here in the front with the opening prayers in the first station. I'm not um, as much of a singer as Father Eric, so if any of y'all feel so led um, when it comes to the end of each station where the song is, if you know the tune, since I'm new here, I don't know it, but if anyone would like to volunteer to lead that tune, I'm sure everyone um, is familiar with it and be able to jump in. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, Eternal Father, we now offer this tribute of our worship in a spirit of humility and with a contrite heart. May it redound to your honor and glory, and make us, and all faithful Christians, both living and dead, deserving of the forgiveness of our sins, the increase of grace, and the reward of everlasting life. Let us glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O oh God, through the passion, death, and resurrection of your Son, you showed us the path to eternal glory by the way of the cross. As we now follow him by our prayers to the place of Calvary, may we also share in his victory over sin and death and be received into his kingdom for all eternity, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. See how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one, Christ above in torment hangs, she first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In the morning, the chief priests, elders, scribes, and the whole council, binding Jesus, led him away and took him to Pilate. And they all condemned him, saying, He is guilty of death. We have found this man, saying that he is Christ the King. And Pilate, sitting in the place of judgment, handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. God spared not his only Son, but delivered him up for all of us. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, you came down upon earth from the glory of the Father in heaven and shed your precious blood for the remission of our sins. 
We humbly pray that on the day of judgment you may find us worthy to be placed at your right hand and to hear your words. Come, you blessed of my Father. This we ask of you now living and reigning forever. Amen. Who on Christ, dear Mother, gazing, pierced by anguish so amazing, born of woman, would not we? The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Carrying his cross, Jesus went forth to the place called Calvary. Hail, O Christ our King. You alone had pity on the folly of our sins. Obedient to the will of the Father, you are led forth to be crucified like an innocent lamb to the slaughter. To you be glory. To you be triumph and victory over sin and death. To you the crown of highest honor and acclaim. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. For the wickedness of his people he has stricken him. Let us pray. Lord. station. Jesus follows the first time under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself to the point of death, even to death on the cross. That is why God exalted him above every creature and gave him a name that is above all other names. Come, let us adore and bow down and worship before God. Let us weep in the presence of the Lord who made us, for he is indeed the Lord our God. Surely he has borne our infirmities. And he has carried our sorrows. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, we confess that we are weak, and that we often fail in the midst of trials and sufferings, through the merits of the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ, your only begotten Son. Give us new courage and hope. This we ask in Jesus' name, who lives and reigns forever. Amen. Gracious Mother, font of love, touch my spirit from above. With my heart, with yours, accord. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To what shall I compare you, or to what shall I liken you, virgin daughter of Jerusalem? For great as the sea is your distress, O mother of mercy, grant that we may always realize in ourselves the death of Jesus and share with him in his saving passion. A sword of sorrow has pierced your soul. And has filled your heart with bitter pain. Let us pray. Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ. at the hour of your cruel death on the cross, a sword of sorrow pierced the grieving soul of the Virgin Mary, your mother. May she plead for clemency in our behalf, now and at the hour of our death. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my soul to glow and melt. With the love of Christ my Lord. The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene is forced to take up the cross. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As the soldiers were leading Jesus away on the road to Calvary, they laid hold of a certain Simon of Cyrene, a passerby, who was coming in from the country, and forced him to take up the cross of Jesus. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross daily, and follow me. Whoever does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Let us pray. O God, God of grace and, grace and might, accept our prayers and sacrifices, and be moved to have mercy on us. Strengthen us in our weakness, so that our rebellious wills may yield to your divine will in all things. This we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lo, we have seen him, and there is no beauty in him, nor comeliness. He is despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, his face full of grief. He is worn out by suffering, like one in whose presence the people hide their faces. He is scorned and disdained, his appearance is that of one tortured beyond human endurance. And yet he is fairer than all the sons of men, and by his wounds we are healed. Turn not your face away from us. And withdraw not from your servant in your anger. Let us pray. O God, renew us according to your own image and likeness. By the precious blood of Jesus Christ, your Son, guide our footsteps in your paths, that we may truly experience the gift of your divine charity. This we ask through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the sins of his own nation, he now walks in desolation, till his earthly life is spent. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They delivered me into the hands of the impious. They cast me out among the wicked. And they spared not my life. The powerful gathered together against me. And like giants they stood against me. Afflicting me with cruel wounds, they mocked me. But I am a worm and no man. The reproach of men and the outcast of the people. Let us pray. O oh God, by the humiliation of your Son, you lifted up our fallen world. Grant your faithful people abiding peace and joy. Deliver us from the perils of eternal death, and guide us to eternal happiness in heaven. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart each wound renew. Of my Savior crucified, let me share with you his pain, who for all my sins was slain, who for me in torments died. The A Station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Following Jesus on the road to Calvary was a great multitude of people and of women who bewailed and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Remember that the days are coming when they will say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. If they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? 
they who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Let us pray. O God, you chose rather to have mercy than to be angry for those who put their hope in you. Grant us your grace that we may truly grieve and make amends for the evil we have done, and thus obtain the gift of your heavenly consolation. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me join with you in grief. Take away my unbelief. All the days that I may live. The ninth station. Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My people, what I have done to you, or in what have I grieved you? Answer me. I brought you out of the land of Egypt, and you have led me to the gibbet of the cross. Forty years I fed you with manna in the desert, and you have beaten me with blows and scourges. What more should I have done for you that I have not done? He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. He was mute as a lamb before the shear. Let us pray. Guard us, O God, on high, by your ever-present mercy and goodness. Without your help, we cannot overcome the evil that beckons us because of our weak human nature. Without you, we shall surely fall. Help us to avoid all that is sinful and guide our steps in the way of all that is profitable for our salvation. This we ask of you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray. This I ask of you to give. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They came to the place that is called Gagatha, or Calvary, the place of the skull. There they gave him wine to drink, mingled with gall. He tasted it, but would not drink. They divided his garments among them by drawing lots, and thus was fulfilled what the prophet had said. They divided my garments among them. From my vesture they cast lots. They gave me gall for my food. And in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. Strip us, Lord Jesus, of our former self, of its evil deeds and ways, and clothe us with the newness of nature, which you have created in justice, holiness, and truth. This we ask of you now, living and reigning forever. Amen. Virgin of all virgins blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share your grief and pain. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Having arrived at the place called Calvary, they crucified him there. And with him two thieves, one on the right, the other on the left, and Jesus in the midst. My people, what have I done to you? I exalted you with great power, and you have changed me on the gibbet of the cross. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Let us pray. O God, by the sacred passion of your only begotten Son, and by the five wounds from which his blood was poured, you repaired the evil wrought by sin in our human nature. As we on earth revere the wounds which we received, we pray that in heaven we may experience the fruit of his most precious blood. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me to my latest breath in my body bear the death of your risen Son once slain. 
the twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. Please kneel. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Please stand. When Jesus saw his mother at the foot of the cross and standing near her, the disciple whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. After that, he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. Having tasted the vinegar, Jesus said, It is finished. And crying in a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Christ, for our sake, became obedient unto death. Even to death on the cross. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, at the sixth hour you mounted the gibbet of the cross for the redemption of the world and shed your precious blood for the remission of our sins. We humbly beg that after our death we may enter with joy the gates of paradise. This we ask of you now living and reigning forever. Amen. Let his stripes and scourging spite me at his holy cross requite me let his blood refresh me there the 13th station the body of jesus is placed in the arms of his mother we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world all you who pass by the way, look and see if there be any sorrow like my sorrow. My eyes are spent with weeping, my whole being is troubled, and my strength is poured out upon the earth as I behold the cruel death of my son, for the enemy has prevailed against him. Call me not Naomi, that is beautiful, but call me Malra, that is bitter, for the Almighty has afflicted me and has dealt quite bitterly with me. Tears are on her cheeks. And there is none to comfort her. Let us pray. At your passion, Lord Jesus, as Simeon had foretold, a sword of sorrow pierced the sweet soul of Mary, your glorious Virgin Mother. As we now reverently recall her bitter anguish and suffering, grant that we may obtain the blessed fruits of your redemption. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. When the flames of hell would in me at the judgment day defend me, gentle virgin with your prayer. The fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea, who was also a disciple of Jesus, went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus, and Pilate ordered it to be given to him. Having taken the body down from the cross, Joseph wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in a rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. You will not leave my soul in the netherworld. Nor will you let your Holy One see corruption. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you left us a record of your passion in the Holy Shroud, wherein Joseph wrapped your sacred body when it was taken down from the cross. In your mercy, grant that through your death and burial, we may experience the glory of your resurrection. This we ask of you now living and reigning forever. Amen. Jesus, when you call me hence, be your mother my defense. Be your cross my sacrifice. While my body here decays, may my soul 
your goodness praise. Safe with you in paradise. Let us pray. O oh God, you will that your only begotten Son should suffer and die on the cross for us, in order to rescue us from the power of the enemy. As we now glory in honoring that same holy cross, grant that we may everywhere rejoice in your loving care and obtain the grace of rising with them. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.